Nice to see you all here at Gray Matters. Uh, interesting stuff for seniors. John, yeah. uh, seniors like to make some money. You got something in that area for us today? Money does make the world go round. You know, about a, no matter how old you get, you always need a couple of bucks in your pocket, right? We, we used to call it walking around money. Okay. Today, uh, in the gig economy, they call it uh, a side hustle, picking up extra change. Well, when you're retired, sometimes you need to pick up extra change. So I found this website, the 10 best side hustles to make extra money. Now, it's not just for seniors, because a side hustle could be for anybody, but mm -hmm. I like this. So scroll down, you'll see what the 10 are, and I'll uh, share them with you. Um, it's, a, it's a website, first of all, that's... Uh, they're selling your products, Fidelity, Stash, Investments. It's a bankrate.com, I think is the website. But this is what we're here for. Uh, selling stuff in an online marketplace. A great idea. A lot of people make money with that. Number two, becoming a virtual assistant. I, I never ever thought about that, but I know, I, at least I've heard of people who do that online services. Number three, uh, speaking engagements, you know, if you're qualified, people will pay you for your knowledge, uh, do lectures. Mm -hmm. I have some friends who are retired college professors who, who make it their business, literally, to travel the world and give lectures to other colleges, other universities. It's wonderful side uh, gig for them. Number four, tutoring, kind of the same thing, but you don't have to travel. Uh, freelance writing. I, I don't know that everybody's qualified to write a book or articles, but you know what? If you are, it's a good gig. Keep going, Art. More, uh, more sales, yeah. more sales effort, yep. Open a mobile business. They've got a, 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 some ideas for you. Work as a ride hail driver. That's one that I had never heard of. Sounds like Uber to uh, me. Yeah, that sounds that way. Uh, moving stuff, yeah, it depends on your physical ability. I think as a senior, moving stuff might not be the best side gig. Um, setting up an online store, that sounds like uh, Amazon to me. And dog walking. I used to live in a, a com community where there was a man who came around every week walking his dog with a poop bag, and he would be picking up the neighbor's poops, the neighbor's dog's poops. And that was his job. He he literally got paid by the community to pick up dog poop, but it was an app, an opportunity for him to walk his dog as well. Great idea. Anyway, so, 10 so, ideas, make a couple extra money. Some of them might be right for you. And yeah, you know what? Um, the dog walking, if it were more traditional dog walking, that's just great exercise. So <laughs> yeah. you, you might as well go out. And who knows? You meet some interesting dog owners as well. Yeah. Look, yeah. Okay, well, let's move over to uh, uh, an interesting uh, site that I found that it was chock full of things that I had never thought about before. I tripped over the site, and I wanted to share it with uh, you guys. Is um, We all remember, or most of us remember, going to summer camp either once sure. or many times. I remember sure. going to Boy Scout camp. Uh, in my case, it was 10 Mile River in upstate New York, uh, and had a wonderful time. Uh, and that's mostly what I remember about camp. But they're all just because we're a little bit older now uh, doesn't mean that we can't uh, also enjoy these things. So, for instance, in, in this particular case, uh, they had uh, nine summer camps. I'm sure that if you don't like these, you can find more. But the one that first got my attention was Nerd Camp. OK, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, back in the day, not so much when I was a kid, but uh, when our kids were kids, there were some kids who went to a nerd camp like to learn computer skills. And they would go there for computer skills. And there was also skills they went for uh, uh, theatrical training and things like that. But sure. ner nerd this camp. Is, this is for adults. Yeah, this is for adults who this like great. maybe Fortnite or all sorts of other things. We'll get back to that in a moment. Um, but you can see there are all sorts of different kinds of camps. A zombie survival camp. So if you want to go and probably roll <laughs> around in the mud, and uh, just test your metal uh, yeah. uh, for, I think they do it over a weekend. They may have a, a week kind of thing, but uh, uh, they got that for you. And this is a camp that's probably more like the camp 
that you and I remember. And by the way, sure. this one is in the Poconos, upstate New York or in Pennsylvania, but they're, they've got these kind of things all over the country. So if you don't find what you want here, call one of them and ask them for one on the West Coast, if, if you're a West Coast or the Midwest. Uh, and then here's another camp, like when you were a kid, but no counselors. So I don't know what they're suggesting that- uh, That's where you, the naughty kids go. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to be naughty, that's it. Soul camp, um, not exactly sure. I think this is a meditation camp, not having soul food. I think a soul food camp actually might be kind of interesting to get my attention. And uh, so anyway, they have a whole bunch of camps. But one of the ones that caught my attention originally was this uh, summer camp for geeks. And apparently this is more people who like games and things like that. And you have, uh, I think, sword fights and uh, uh, they have a karaoke thing, but mermaid school. I mean, I can't even imagine what it is, but if you're, if any of these terms, wizard and things like that, is part of your world, this may be a camp for you. Plus they have canoeing in case you made a mistake and you went there and you met somebody else who just wants to go canoeing. But in any event, um, uh, and to me, this was like such an interesting concept, okay? We're adults, but maybe you want to recapture some of the things you had when Absolutely. you were a kid. Who doesn't so, want to be a kid again? Right. So all we got to say is if you want to have some fun, there are lots of things you can do, whether you're a senior senior or an in, a, a between senior, it doesn't really matter. There are lots of things that we try to bring that to you from uh, things that matter to us, gray matters. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.